Greatness. Everyone wants to achieve it. You could fill a library with the books that have been written about great men and women and how they reached the pinnacle of success. Success remains a mystery. I have solved that mystery. The solution is so simple that it is scary. Stay positive. Always. The newspaper has negative stories in it. Cancel your subscription. If you have a pessimistic best friend, lose their number and change yours. All of these things are direct obstacles to you solving. Hey, Barry. I'm not hands-free, so I can't talk. Now give me some good news. Ah, <laughs> don't I always? Save the bullshit. All right, look, I got three offers for your summer slot. A rom-com with the Kutch. Ooh. You'll be playing Kate's slutty best friend. A thriller with, um, uh, you know, one of the Dermots. And a sci-fi romance with Clash of the Terminator. <sighs> Gotta be honest, Bear. Those don't sound great. They sound far from it. But they pay. Hello? And they could lead to something great. If one of them ignites, you can go from Nicole Darbo to Nicole Darbo in five fucking minutes. I'm sick of this. The same conversation over and over. You pair me with these guys, and they get all the credit if the movie opens big. And I take the hit. <gasps> oh. If it bombs. Oh, oh shit, are you okay? Yeah, 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 hey, no, Nick, it, Nick, are you there? It's fine, it's just a... a, a Fender Fender, but I, I gotta go. <sighs> oh my God! <sighs> oh, oh, oh my God! <gasps> my car! Oh my baby! Oh, my baby is fucked! You fucked my baby! I barely tapped you. Ah, well, physics is something, huh? Moving force meets stationary force, and wham! Are you sure that this is for me? Because I really wasn't going that I might need a whole new car. Come on. We gotta call the cops. I don't have my phone. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have it? You were yapping away on it when you hit me. You did hit me, you realize that. You are at fault. I mean, I just, it's, it's, it's back in my car. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I'm, I've got them on speed dial. Oh, you don't have to do that. Insurance won't pay if we don't call the cops and have it written up. It's probably not even gonna meet your deductible. <laughs> oh, don't worry, <laughs> I'm way past that. You know, really, I'd rather just handle it myself, if that's okay. I'll just give you my information, and that way you can just get a couple estimates and give me a call. I mean, the cops, they have way more important things to worry about than us. <laughs> so, there you go. And let's talk soon, okay? I thought that was you. I'm sorry? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of all the careless, reckless assholes in this city, Nicole freaking Darvo is the one who runs into me. Huh. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, huge. Uh, I loved you even back when you did that, that, that country music movie that only came out in two theaters and then went straight to DVD. <laughs> did you do your own singing in that? I did, actually. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I can always tell. Always. My, my friends don't believe me, but I'm always right about that stuff. <sighs> Cole Darvo. I love your movies. <laughs> Thank you. Except for that slasher one where the whole thing took place in the parking garage. Whoa, what a piece of shit that was. <laughs> How much did you get paid for that? I don't really remember, but it was um, <laughs> very nice meeting you. Carla. <laughs> uh, Carla Bradford. <laughs> Isn't this something? Anything can happen. Mm. So true. <laughs> Can I give you something? Uh, sure. Okay. Um. I wrote this for you. It's called The Coffee Whisperer. Oh no, really? I, I, I it's can't. the story of a deaf barista as she encounters love and, and a heartbreak on her way to inventing 
the best-selling cold coffee drink in the world. Just read it. Um, no. Yes. I mean, I'm flattered. But these things, you know, they require the proper channels. Proper channels? What? Are you kidding me? I mean, what about God for a channel? It was an accident. Oh, there are no accidents. Freud said that. Freud, not me. Freud and, and God. Are you gonna argue with them? Oh, my L. Ron Hubbard. You hit me on purpose. What are you talking about? You hit me. You staged this. You pulled in front of me and just so you could give me your script. Oh, it's the perfect part for you. It's the role of a lifetime. I don't want to play a deaf barista. Not now, not ever. Just read it. Anything can happen. You never know when the most perfect thing in the world will just appear. The, the heavens will open. <gasps> You remembered. Cut! I thought that felt good! Very good. Very good. Can you tell what I'm saying with my eyes? With my hands? One word. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> to be recognized for anything is so amazing. But for this film, something so close to my heart, it's just it's beyond belief. I'd like to thank my agent, Barry Verge, my amazing director, Stanley Hausman, the cast and crew. Uh, I know I'm forgetting someone. Um, uh, oh, my dialect coach, Amy. Everyone in the deaf community for supporting us. Thank you to the Tallgrass Film Festival for this award. Wichita! <laughs>